Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today I'm back in Los Angeles for another episode with my friend Banook. Let's go thrifting. Today Banook and I are at the Council Shop Thrift Store and Donation Center at 12120 Venice Boulevard in Mar Vista, California. It's been about two years since I've been in this store and I know they have recently renovated it. It looks great and there's lots of furniture, there's lots of clothing and lots of other interesting items. Uh, usually this window display is packed but uh, it looks like they sold a lot of things recently. The first area we went to was these purses. I thought the pandas were really cute but there was this bag, this Disney bag that I spotted and I thought you know Disney stuff usually sells really well. So I actually held on to this for a good portion of the time we were in the store. It looks brand new. It didn't look like it had been used at all. And it was in great condition. It was from the Disney Disneyland Disney World Resorts. So an item that only sells at the resorts. And when I looked it up, I found three for sale and only one sold comp, which was not very good at $5.95 so I put that back. Then I checked out this cute rattan bag which also looked pretty new uh, but then I found it on Amazon for $37.99 and I thought no I'm not going to pick that up either. There were some interesting items in the glassware section. I thought this was I think Mud Hut USA for $12.99 I didn't think that was a very good deal and I couldn't find any comps on it. As I scoured the glass section, Banook found this, these bride and groom glasses, which were funny. Um, someone was dumping those. I guess they're no longer bride and groom. Then on this lower shelf, I spotted a Melita 10 cup coffee pot carafe, which looked in great condition. And a lot of times, this was $5.99, but a lot of times these kind of replacement crafts can sell very well. But unfortunately, when I looked up the comps, the sold comps, this one probably sold for about $10, so not worth my, my time. Then I picked up this handmade pottery, um, which looks like it has a crack now that I'm looking at it. For $12.99, it's made in California, but it was very heavy and um, it didn't have a maker's mark on it, except it just said handmade in California. So I left that behind. Banook picked up this wall hanging, which looked kind of interesting, but it had too much damage on it. And so she contemplated it for a second and then put it back. I feel like I have to go over to the mug section all the time now in every store, even though I know <laughs> I shouldn't be in here. As I turned away, I found this piece, which is an old children's plate from Cannonsburg Pottery, which is a Pennsylvania town, um, for $4.99. But when I looked up the comps, they're not very good. These are for sale items, and then only one had sold, and it was $12. So again, not worth my time. Back at the mugs, I then spotted... I love old ashtrays, and I don't smoke, but I thought this one was really cool. It's King George Hotel, Athens, Greece, and it didn't have a price on it, but I'm assuming it was probably about $4.99. I looked up one for sale and I found it for $57.99, but I did not pick this one up. I just felt it was probably not going to sell. I didn't find any sold comps on it. Then Banook picked up what I thought was a rice cooker. It looked like one to me and it was in really good condition it looked like it was brand new when I when I looked it up I found that it's a whale Chinese herb cooker and it sells for about a hundred dollars new on a random shelf I saw this little box of naughty and nice spode dipping bowls then I looked them up online and I found a couple for sale for about thirty two dollars and one sold for $32.99, but it was brand new and these were used. So I just, I'm so over Christmas right now. I loved this plate, which I thought was really cool. It's marked Virage, I believe that's how it's pronounced. It did have a little bit of damage on it, a little bit of paint chipping on it. It wasn't in the best condition. 
I did find a couple for sale, but they were in much better condition than this one was, so I put that back as well. Then I saw this, what I believed to be a vintage turntable with speakers. It really had a look to it of an old turntable. This is made by Crossley, and it's actually made to look vintage because you can buy it new on Amazon for $155. So why would you spend $64.99 at the thrift store? I did find this one sold comp on eBay for $60 and change. All things that look vintage aren't necessarily actually vintage. Then I was walking around and they definitely have a large selection of shoes and boots. So when you're here, definitely check them out. I kind of glanced at some of them and then I went over to the case. This is usually locked up, but it had, I guess what they considered some of the more higher price items. Uh, but there are New Balance in here and Asics, um, nothing that I thought was really that expensive that should be put into a case. These frog jars were kind of cute. Vinuk said that they were $19.99 for the pair, at least, so that was good. Some of the prices aren't too bad at this store, so definitely come check it out when you're in Los Angeles. There are several council shops all over the city, so you can find one wherever you're staying probably. Banuk picked up this bag. It's $39.99. Unfortunately, my camera would not focus on the label, so I don't know what it is. I did find some, uh, some other ones that look just like it on Google Lens that range in price, but $39.99 I didn't think was that great. They do have a lot of furniture here. Again, the window displays are usually chock full of items and they have several of these cases that are locked up. The clothing is pretty reasonable. These like women's shirts are $7.99 each and again shoes and boots everywhere. I love these red slippers or whatever they were. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video please tap the like button and if so inclined please subscribe. Until next time keep on thrifting.